Looking for a movie for this weekend? Then you've come to the right place. Here are the 10 best movies to watch this weekend. Number 10. West Side Story. Prepare to be swept off your feet by the timeless love story of West Side Story, 2021, Steven Spielberg's dazzling and critically acclaimed reimagining of the classic musical. Set against the vibrant backdrop of New York City in the 1950s, the film tells the tragic tale of Tony, Ansel Elgort, and Maria, Rachel Zegler, star-crossed lovers from rival street gangs, the Jets and the Sharks. Despite the simmering tensions between their groups, Tony and Maria fall passionately in love, their forbidden romance mirroring the escalating conflict between the Jets and the Sharks. Spielberg masterfully brings Leonard Bernstein's iconic score and Stephen Sondheim's powerful lyrics to life. The film is a feast for the senses, with stunning visuals, electrifying dance sequences, and unforgettable musical numbers like Jet Song, America, and Somewhere. Ansel Elgort and Rachel Zegler deliver captivating performances as Tony and Maria, their on-screen chemistry undeniable as they navigate the joys and heartbreak of their forbidden love. The supporting cast is equally stellar, with Ariana DeBose stealing the show as Anita, Maria's fiery friend and confidant. Rita Moreno, who won an Oscar for her role as Anita in the original 1961 film, makes a touching cameo as Valentina, adding a layer of history and legacy to the film. Number 9. Coda. Coda, short for child of deaf adults, isn't your typical coming-of-age story. It dives into the unique and often unheard experiences of a hearing teenager named Ruby, Amelia Jones, navigating life as the only hearing member of her deaf family. Juggling her aspirations to pursue a singing career with her responsibility to be her family's interpreter and bridge between two worlds, Ruby grapples with her identity and the complex choices ahead. Director Sion Heater paints a moving and authentic portrait of the Rossi family. Marley Matlin and Troy Kutzwer deliver exceptional performances as Ruby's parents, showcasing the joys and challenges of living with deafness with humor and warmth. Their unwavering support for Ruby's dreams, amidst their own anxieties about her leaving their world, creates a poignant tension that drives the narrative. The film shines in its portrayal of communication and connection. It's not just about the technicalities of signing, but the unspoken language of love, shared experiences, and unspoken anxieties that bind the family together. Ruby's internal conflict between pursuing her passions and her family obligations resonates deeply, especially for anyone who has felt torn between different paths or responsibilities. Number 8. Cyrano. Step into a world of flamboyant costumes, witty wordplay, and unrequited love with Cyrano, 2021, a stunning musical adaptation of the classic Cyrano de Bergerac tale. Peter Dinklage, known for his captivating performances in Game of Thrones and Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, takes center stage as Cyrano, a man blessed with a brilliant mind and sharp tongue, but cursed with insecurity about his short stature. Cyrano falls head over heels for the beautiful Roxanne, Haley Bennett, but believes his appearance makes him unworthy of her love. Instead, he pours his poetic soul into writing love letters for his friend Christian, Kelvin Harrison Jr., a handsome but tongue-tied soldier who wins Roxanne's heart with Cyrano's words. The film weaves a poignant and humorous tapestry of mistaken identities, hidden feelings, and the power of language. Dinklage delivers a tour de force performance, effortlessly switching between playful wit and raw emotional vulnerability. His Cyrano is not just a romantic figure, he's a complex man grappling with self-doubt and the limitations society imposes on him. Number 7. Petite Maman. Petite Maman is a charming and beautifully shot French film that tells the story of Nelly, a young girl who, while cleaning out her deceased grandmother's house, befriends a girl her own age named Marion. As they spend time together building treehouses and exploring the surrounding woods, Nellie begins to suspect that Marion might be more than just a new friend. Directed by Celine Sayama, the film is a delicate and nuanced exploration of grief, childhood friendships, and the power of imagination. Nellie is still grappling with the loss of her grandmother, and Marion's presence provides her with a much-needed source of comfort and companionship. Their bond is both playful and introspective, as they share stories, secrets, and dreams. The film setting in the French countryside is idyllic and evocative, with lush forests, winding rivers, and quaint villages. The cinematography is stunning, capturing the beauty of the natural world and the intimate moments between the two girls. Number 6. The Batman. Dive into the dark and gray Gotham City with The Batman, 2022, a brooding and atmospheric detective thriller that reimagines the iconic vigilante for a new generation. 
Forget the campy theatrics of past iterations, this Batman is a tormented soul shrouded in shadows, driven by a thirst for vengeance and fueled by rage. Instead of flashy costumes and gadgetry, we see a raw, primal Bruce Wayne, played by a brooding Robert Pattinson, in his second year as the Batman. Two years of prowling the rooftops and striking fear into Gotham's criminals have taken their toll. Bruce is physically and mentally scarred, consumed by his obsession with justice and haunted by the unsolved murder of his parents. The film unfolds as a slow burn mystery, with Batman investigating a series of cryptic murders targeting Gotham's elite. The Riddler, a sadistic serial killer, leaves behind ciphers and puzzles that challenge Batman's intellect and force him to confront the city's corruption and his own family's dark secrets. Number 5. Top Gun Maverick Buckle up for a high-octane thrill ride because we're soaring into the world of Top Gun Maverick 2022. Over three decades after dazzling audiences with the original Top Gun, Tom Cruise returns as Pete Maverick Mitchell, a legendary pilot who still pushes the envelope despite years of experience. But this time, the stakes are higher than ever. Maverick, defying orders and indulging his need for speed, finds himself back at Top Gun, the elite Navy strike fighter tactics instructor program. His mission? To train a squad of the best Top Gun graduates for a daunting, seemingly impossible mission, destroying a heavily fortified enemy target. Among the graduates is Bradley Rooster Bradshaw, the son of Maverick's late wingman and best friend, Goose. Tensions simmer between Maverick and Rooster, burdened by the weight of the past and their contrasting approaches to flying. Maverick, a maverick by name and nature, relies on instincts and improvisation, while Rooster, a skilled but cautious pilot, values precision and following orders. Number 4. Men. Men isn't your typical horror film. It's a slow-burning, unsettling exploration of grief, trauma, and the complexities of masculinity, all wrapped in a beautifully shot, folk horror-inspired package. Directed by Alex Garland, known for his mind-bending sci-fi films like Ex Machina and Annihilation, Men takes us to the English countryside, where Harper, Jesse Buckley, still reeling from a personal tragedy, seeks solace in a secluded rental home. But instead of peace, Harper finds herself stalked and harassed by a series of strange and unsettling men. They appear in different guises, the awkward groundskeeper, the creepy vicar, the obnoxious teenager, the menacing forest hermit. Each embodies a different facet of male behavior, from harmless awkwardness to predatory aggression. As the film progresses, the lines between reality and nightmare blur. Harper's isolation amplifies her anxieties, and the men seem to morph into figments of her own fear and trauma. Garland masterfully uses symbolism and folklore to weave a chilling atmosphere, with recurring motifs of green men, skin shedding, and pagan rituals hinting at something primal and unsettling lurking beneath the surface. Number 3. Elvis. Elvis isn't just a biopic, it's a dazzling, flamboyant roller coaster ride through the life and legacy of the king of rock and roll. Directed by Baz Luhrmann, known for his visually stunning and energetic films, Elvis takes a non-linear approach, jumping through different stages of Presley's career while focusing on his complex relationship with his enigmatic manager, Colonel Tom Parker, played by Tom Hanks. Austin Butler delivers a transformative performance as Elvis, capturing both his electrifying stage presence and his vulnerable, introspective side. The film vividly recreates Elvis's early days in Memphis, his meteoric rise to fame, and his struggles with the pressures of stardom, exploitation, and personal demons. Lerman's signature style is on full display, with frenetic editing, kaleidoscopic visuals, and an infectious soundtrack that blends classic Elvis hits with modern remixes. The film is a sensory feast, bombarding the audience with music, dance, and dazzling costumes. Number 2. The Banshees of Inisherin. Set against the windswept beauty of a remote Irish island, The Banshees of Inisherin is a darkly comic drama that dives into the complexities of male friendship. Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson deliver powerhouse performances as Porrick and Colm, two lifelong friends whose bond is unexpectedly shattered when Colm abruptly decides to end their drinking buddy routine. Porrick is bewildered and devastated, desperately trying to understand and mend the fractured relationship. He enlists the help of his kind-hearted sister, Siobhan, Carrie Condon, and the troubled young islander, Dominic, Barry Keoghan, to unravel the mystery behind Colm's sudden change of heart. As tensions rise and secrets are revealed, the film delves into themes of loneliness, isolation, and the burden of past choices. The harsh beauty of the island landscape mirrors the emotional turmoil brewing within the characters, with crashing waves and rugged cliffs reflecting their internal struggles. Number 1. 
Everything Everywhere All at Once. Everything Everywhere All at Once isn't just a movie. It's a whirlwind sci-fi, action, comedy, and emotional roller coaster about a struggling Chinese immigrant named Evelyn Wong, Michelle Yeoh. Overwhelmed by taxes, family tensions, and the mundanity of life, Evelyn stumbles upon a bizarre secret. The multiverse exists, and she alone can save it. Suddenly, she's juggling alternate lives as a kung fu master, a famous chef, and an opera singer, all while mastering hot dog fingers and learning to connect with her estranged daughter. Don't be fooled by the absurd premise. This film masterfully blends humor and heart, tackling themes of family, regret, and finding meaning in chaos. Yo delivers a tour of force performance, seamlessly switching between hilarious slapstick and raw emotional vulnerability. The visuals are mind-bending, constantly shifting between dreamlike landscapes, kung fu fights, and tax audits. The action is exhilarating, the humor is quirky and infectious, and the emotional punch packs a surprising wallop. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos.